Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we are bringing you an in-depth, realistic look at BRP Miguel Malvar FFG-06, the Philippine Navy's newest guided missile frigate. BRP Miguel Malvar is the lead ship of the Miguel Malvar class, designed and built by South Korea's HD Hyundai Heavy Industries under the Horizon 2 phase of the revised armed forces of the Philippines modernization program. The design traces its roots to the HDC HDF 3200 platform, which itself evolved from the HDF 2600 class used in the Jose Rizal class frigates, and draws heavily from the Republic of Korea Navy's Incheon class frigate design. Its construction began with the steel cutting ceremony on the 11th of May 2023, followed by the keel laid on the 22nd of November 2023, and the ship was launched on the 18th of June 2024. BRP Miguel Malvar was delivered to the Philippine Navy on the 8th of April 2025, ahead of schedule, with the arrival ceremony held on the 8th of April at Subic Bay, and it was officially commissioned into the offshore combat force on the 20th of May 2025 during the Navy's 127th anniversary. The frigate displaces approximately 3,200 tons, stretches 118.4 meters in length with a beam of 14.9 meters, and operates using a combined diesel and diesel CODAD, propulsion system that delivers up to 25 knots speed and a cruising range of 4,500 nautical miles at 15 knots. BRP Miguel Malvar is armed with a formidable sensor and weapons suite. Its primary gun is an Odo Malara 76mm Super Rapid, supported by an Aselsan Gokdenas 35mm Close in Weapon System for close range defense. It also features a state-of-the-art 16-cell vertical launching system, VLS, firing MBDAVL MICA surface-to-air missiles, marking its distinction as the first Philippine Navy ship equipped with VLS. Its offensive capabilities include two quadruple launchers armed with Lignex-1 SSM-710KC Star anti-ship cruise missiles, and two triple tubes for CTLSTT launching K-745 Blue Shark lightweight torpedoes for anti-submarine warfare. Additional armament includes four 12.7mm K-6 heavy machine guns for close-range threats and flexibility. The vessel's electronics are equally advanced, starting with the IAIL M2258 Alpha S band 3D AESA radar for air and surface surveillance, complemented by Kelvin Hughes Sharpie navigation radars in both I and E F bands. Targeting functions are handled by the Celix SNA25X fire control radar and the Safran Paseo XLR electro optical tracker, all integrated through the Hanwha system's baseline 4 combat management system. Subsurface detection comes via the ELAC Hunter 2.0 hull mounted sonar, while electronic warfare and survivability are enhanced by the Elbit system's Elisra Aquamarine RESM and CESM suites, plus Terma Sea Guard DL 12T decoy launchers. The frigate supports one A-159 Wildcat naval helicopter, adding aerial reach for anti-submarine and surveillance missions. Following its commissioning, BRP Miguel Malvar entered the Operational Readiness and Capability Tests ORACT, a four-phase evaluation covering anti-surface, anti-air, anti-submarine, and electronic warfare capabilities. The ship's maiden deployment included the maritime cooperative activity with the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps on the 4th of June 2025, and the second mission was a maritime exercise with Japan on the 15th of June 2025 involving ASW operations with JS Takanami and the A-159 helicopter. BRP Miguel Malvar stands as the most capable surface combatant in the Philippine Navy's offshore combat force, representing a significant leap in operational effectiveness and sovereignty protection. It symbolizes the strategic modernization of the Philippine fleet into a credible Blue Water Navy, poised for multilateral collaborations and deterrence missions across the Indo-Pacific. To recap, BRP Miguel Malvar FFG-06 is a 3,200-ton guided missile frigate, 118.4 meters long, commissioned in May 2025, featuring VLS, advanced radars, sensor suites, surface and sub-surface weapons, helicopter operations, and undergoing full readiness testing. It is not only a technological achievement but also a symbol of the Philippine Navy's renewed maritime resolve and regional security contribution. 